Chapter 3. Flash is rescued from the energy pit and escapes with Zarkov from Ming's palace. Ronald, Baron's captain, learns there is an antidote for the Purple Death, a mineral known as Polaroid, found only in frozen, unlivable Phrygia. Flash and Zarkov promptly lead an expedition into Phrygia, protected against the unlivable cold by a discovery of Zarkov. A Ming ship sent to destroy them sees Flash, Dale, Baron, Roca, and one of the miners climbing a huge mountain searching for the Polarite. They drop a bomb. It misses, but starts an avalanche, which... activities of Flash Gordon and his party. I may be able to get Dr. Zarkoff on this radio. Whom do you hope to talk? I must inform Princess Aura of what has happened. Doctor, look. The main ship is returning. Have the ship ready to take off at once. Yes. All the workmen in Baron's ship. Isn't that a ship taking the air? Another one's still on the ground. Looks like one of ours. They must have stolen it when they left Mongo. We'll destroy them both. Hannah, take care of that ship that just took the air. Must report what's happened. Yeah. Take 
the controls. Yes, sir. Fly low over the scene of the avalanche. Right, sir. The chasm directly in the path of the avalanche. They may have fallen into it. It's not impossible. You have to land them, explorer. I'll radio Baron ship to bring them in. the rescue party immediately. That's fine, Dr. Zarkov. But hurry, we can't hold out much longer. See that the men are thoroughly insulated, for we shall encounter extreme cold. Dr. Zarkov is organizing a rescue party. They'll be here soon. I think they'll, they'll ever reach. With Dr. Zarkov leading them? Sure they will. We shoot magnesium torches to everyone. Yes, sir. Do you think they're in that chasm we flew over, Doctor? Yes, they're not. We'll never find them alive. Flash, 
We have mine enough full right to begin my work of combating Ming's purple death. Let's get Tumble to the ship. Okay, Doctor. From what I've learned, we can control the analysis from the ship with that instrument. Certainly. We couldn't live exposed to the Phrygian atmosphere. Well, how does Flash Gordon and the Earth people manage? Probably some invention of that genius Darkoff. No wonder Ming wants him alive. All right, boys, that's enough. Start loading up. Look, I can see them. They're mining at the base of that hill. Get the analysis ready at once. Tyler, I have the ship behind that hill. And they won't see us until the explosive iron men are marching against us. I hear the motor of a spaceship. I can't locate the direction. Well, perhaps we stopped this our car warming up ours. Doesn't sound like our motor. A big ship is just landing beyond that hill. Close to the polarized mines. The mean to attack us. The doctor, without your contra free solution, they couldn't leave the ship and survive. Not unless they have some similar protection. Get as close to them as you can and find out what they're up to. Yes, sir. The analogies are all in line and they work perfectly. I'll march them around the hill to the pit where Flash Gordon and his body are working. I never saw anything like them. They must be from another planet. But they're not human, Dale. They're mechanical. Probably operated by someone we can't see. This way gun ought to stop them. Why, they're invincible. Come on, fellas, we'll stop them. Come back, you fools. You can't fight them. They'll fight you. Well, they haven't got a chance. Oh. Oh. They're walking bombs. Operated by remote control. Oh, they've got them trapped here. I admit, if attacks flash and the others at the mine, they have men. You mean robots? Mechanical men? They seem to be. Come on. Flash, I need our help. I'll either forfeit if I don't. 